All right, guys, it's Friday. Hopefully you can see the whole fam going to a home inspection with the fam. Gonna do a water test. Gonna go to Stillwater, maybe Sprouts afterwards, maybe. Just bring up the car seat. Okay. So we got the car seat, so she'll hang out in that. So, another eventful. No closing today on the, that one has been extended due to curative duct and all the rain and stuff has delayed the roof being put on so we're just waiting on that um you can't see it but red's got some new shoes today we got them at walmart i don't think you guys saw that the other day when we got those but um yeah that's about it i'm gonna drive five miles below the speed limit to get there early you know um hopefully that'll help some See you guys at the house. Time to start another day. Oh, man. Well, I'm not. I'm not starting my day. Today's the start of the video just now. Oh, taking the trash out. Gonna go show some houses over in South West Oklahoma City. Doing a second showing on a customer that Tracy and I have been helping. Um, super excited about that. Let me get going. Oh man, it's just been a. Your regular Monday, just doing paperwork like crazy. As soon as I get in the car and get things going and get the GPS plugged in and stuff like that, I'll go over something that just mind blows. But other agents uh, request sometimes, just mind blowing. It has nothing to do with the actual contract documents. Just weird, so stick around. Can't wait to talk with you guys about that. I'll try to show you some of these houses that we're gonna look at today. And uh, yeah, let's all have a great end of our Monday today. Hope you guys have been super productive and sold lots of houses. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, getting on the turnpike. And I've got two customers that I need to check in with and see where they are on uh, some offers that are on the table. So let's give them a ring here shortly. Okay, I'm gonna pull over, dial, start the video back up, and then chat with them. So, Hello. Hey, it's Josh. Is now a good time? What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm driving over to a uh, southwest Oklahoma City Mustang area. And you? Oh, I'm about to get home. Oh, wow. Wow. Is now a good time or should I call you back later when you get home? Oh, that's fine. You need to go over somewhere. Yes. I was wondering, and I'm, the storms really messed me up last week. Sorry about that. I was wondering if you had... Uh, received the signing and if you had any questions on it. Well, I got on the internet, the one you sent me on the internet. Yep, yep. <clears throat> well, I clicked all of them and I thought I did it. You didn't, I don't know if I'm supposed to try to now send it back or if I just clicked it and you got it or what. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, darn it. Uh, yeah, it's a place for initials. <clears throat> I missed the initials the first time I went and I had a place for the signature. Okay, I will get in the system and see if I have it. And uh, okay. if it, if I don't have it, I'll have the system send you a fresh link. But at the very end, it asks uh, up at the top right. It says "Finish Signing" in a red button, and then you would click that, and then a little pop up would come up that says "Complete Signing." And there's there's uh, two, but there's two maybe clicks I'm, I'm at the very end. Him. Okay. I, I've never done that before, so I don't know if I, I thought I did them all, but 
I never seen no complete. Don't remember seeing anything that said complete sign. I don't remember that part about it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just like that. Maybe it's just 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 that. Maybe it's uh, I have three houses to show, so I should be done by 7. Can I give you a call after 7? Yeah, yeah, be fine. Perfect. I'll resend that okay. as soon as I get there, and then I'll give you a call after 7. Okay. All right, Josh. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, thanks. Bye. I've been working on that for three weeks, I think, trying to get that signed. Uh, the tornadoes last week really messed up a ton of paperwork. Alright, that's the first one. I'm going to pull over, dial the next person, and then bring you back on that one. Alright, so you guys hold on. Josh, I was just uh, replying to your email. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me uh, just, I can just read the email if you want, or we can chat. It's entirely up to you. Josh? Yes, I don't know what happened. Sorry. Okay. Um, would you like to, are there any questions that I could answer via the phone or anything like that? Yeah. Um, what would you think about a counter off? It's entirely up to you. Um, you know, uh, your level of urgency on selling the home, you know, they would have to, um, with them coming in $10,000 short, it just depends on your personal desire to sell the home. We, uh, They've still got to do inspections. they still got to do appraisals and things like that. So even when we get a property under contract, we still, we're still only about a third of the way done. So um, it just depends on if you want to sell it now or if you want to see if we can get more money out of them. It's entirely up to you. Um, well, since I had dropped the price 10000 already, I'm a little... Right. We started getting more showings. We had some hurdles in the beginning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I was thinking a, a counter offer. I can put together that paperwork and get that over to you this afternoon. Uh, well, I'm sorry, evening. It's already 4 o'clock. I'm uh, heading to a 5 o'clock appointment, so I'll be able to get that to you this evening. It'll be there fresh in your email in the morning for you to review and make sure I did it all correctly. But we could definitely do that. Okay. All right. Well, let's go with that then. All right. I'll get Karen to call right now. If she happens to be in front of a computer uh, before me, I'll ask for her to get it all put together. But worst case scenario, you'll have it in your in your inbox when you wake up in the morning. Okay, sounds good, Josh. Thank you so much for taking my call, and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. All right, I'll call Karen and see if she can help with that paperwork, and that would be great. Um, if not, I can do it tonight after I put Little Man to sleep. All right, guys, uh, I want to show you one or two of these houses that we're going to look at first before I go over the crazy things that I get asked even from other agents and I'll go over with you the specifics of why it's not applicable as soon as I show you a couple of these houses first. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you when we get to the houses. All right guys, um, like I said, I wanted to show you this first house that we're looking at today and I forgot my customer's little pamphlet thingy that I make for people. Um, this is a second showing on this house. So, uh, I had Tracy was showing them houses over the weekend and now we're doing a second showing today on their top three. So I just wanted to, like I said earlier, show you these houses, um, at least one or two of them. And I'm gonna leave this information pamphlet right there so that I can come back later. So, uh, yeah, second showings are always great. Let's make sure we got all the lights turned on and everything. Um, oh, they're pulling up. Okay, they're pulling up. So let us let me just go pan the living room, kitchen, dining room real quick. Beautiful, beautiful house. 
so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then uh, I'll try to show you guys the very last house that we look at today. All right, here we go. Just a beautiful floor plan. All right, guys. Um, thank you for everything. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends. If you have real estate questions, put them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys at the very last house today. I'm going to concentrate on the customer now. All right. Whoa. Have a great day. Josh, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Finished up showing. Um, those of you who are members of the Facebook business page, you already saw the first house. This is the last house shutting it down. The husband really likes this house. The wife really likes the second house. Um, the husband loves the fact that this one has huge lot, lots of space. The wife uh, enjoys the kitchen on the other one. So, you know, just, just your typical, you know, difference of opinions, you know, just, just things that come with being couples and things like that. So, uh, yeah, both great houses, both priced very similar. So, um, so it's a tough, tough decision. You know, if one were drastically priced different than the other, it'd be a totally different uh, ball game. But since they're both priced so close, then it's, uh, it's a hard decision to make. It really is. And I know the struggle. Um, my wife and I, we've moved three times now, so I totally get it. Um, luckily, she and I are always pretty close to the same opinion on things. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, once I get set up in the car, make a couple phone calls, I'll bring you back on to talk about what it is that I was talking about earlier at the beginning on things I just don't understand or comprehend with other agents and the weird requests that I get in real estate. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. All right, we're recording. Um, I hope you can see me all right. It is dark and the sun is behind me. Let me see if I get some light. That's creating too much wind. Um, I don't know how to turn that light on. Maybe I can do something with the editing to make it better. So, uh, today, rundown on today, paperwork out the wazoo, as always. I've got to update a seller that I'm still waiting on the buyer's earnest money and prequal letter. I've got inspections confirmed for Friday morning. I may have a closing Friday at two if the seller for my buyer can get the roof on in time my buyer's getting uh, disappointed in the continued delay they feel on the seller's part you never know you never know so and then I may have some showings Friday too with my customers this evening because, you know, they're looking for a house, they found two options, but not, not two houses that both of them agree upon yet. I need to speed up a little. The, uh, it's 75 and I'm doing 73, so now I sped up. But the car that you guys saw just come up on me, they've got to be going faster than 75. So anyways, um, what I've been talking about all day, so we as real estate licensees, we don't practice law. At least I don't, I'm not an attorney. I read what the contract says, and then I, I go to classes on what the contract says, and then I reiterate that to customers, like yourselves. Now, during the inspection period of a contract, clause seven, there's a seven, Charlie 2 Alpha and 7.1 
7 Charlie 2 Bravo. 7 Charlie 2 Alpha specifically states that if you, as a buyer, are unsatisfied with the results of the inspections, investigations, inspections, and reviews, that you, as a buyer, may submit a cancellation form. And they have this form put together, a cancellation form. It has four things, four or five things that a buyer can check off of and, and cancel out a contract. Seven Charlie Two Alpha. You can submit that form and be done. And then it says or. It does not say and. It says or. You may submit a TRR. And then it goes into crazy more details, almost half a page of details on how to proceed if a buyer submits that TRR. The very last clause of submitting the TRR 7 Charlie 2 Bravo, it has like four other clauses, but it goes into great detail. The very last clause says that if a buyer seller cannot come to a written agreement, the contract shall be released and the earnest money return to the buyer. Nowhere in there does it use the word cancel and it specifically doesn't do that. I'm not an attorney, consult your own attorney. It doesn't specifically use the word cancel, it uses the word release because it's referencing two different forms. 7 Charlie 2 Alpha says cancel. That means you use the cancel form. Very straightforward. The contract is written by super smart people. Brokers who've been in the business 30, 40 years, done hundreds if not thousands of transactions, and attorneys who've gone to law school. Like The contract's written very straightforward, very layman terms if a layman will read it. So if you can't come to agreement on the TRR, you use the release form because the clause specifically says the contract shall be null and void, null and void, it says null and void, and earnest money shall be released to the buyer. And then the contract also has a specific earnest money release clause, I think it's 14 or 13, I don't have it in front of me, but you, you follow those instructions to get the earnest money release. And the very first thing is, buyer and seller reach a mutual agreement to the release of earnest money. They have a form for that. It's called the release of contract. So, agents who want a cancellation form, the form that does not cite 7 Charlie 2 Bravo. It does not cite 7 Charlie 2 Bravo. It only, it only references the words used in 7 Charlie 2 Alpha. Cancel. Very specific. Agents who want that form along with the release because of a TRR, they may be the same agents that are checking the blank spot and writing cash. There's no such thing as a cash attachment. Every agent that does that to me, they've yet to give me a cash attachment. Clause 2 of the contract says it's a cash contract unless an attachment is attached here to referenced above in the attachment clause like we have very smart educated and we've spent a ton of taxpayers money putting together this contract why aren't agents reading it i don't know i try to read it i'm constantly learning things every day but i try to read it it's the guidelines it sets up the relationship, the whole outline of closing. Like real estate is an amazing tool. The government has given citizens property ownership. Not many countries have that opportunity. We do here in America. And the Real Estate Commission governs it and they give us paperwork that is very straightforward, very late. I don't understand why everybody doesn't read it. So that's it. That's just my blurb for the day on not understanding other agents' requests. And especially when the other agents use their you uh, use their broker as like a fallback. Like my broker wants this. Really? 
why. The contract doesn't say it's supposed to be there. And if you get a release, the release re releases all parties of everything. Everything. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's released. There's no more obligations. No more nothing. So once something's released, it's done and over with. I'll keep you guys updated on that one. This is the second time uh, this particular agent has tried to put some sort of condition on a completely released contract. I'll keep you guys updated to see how it turns out. It's going to be interesting. Alright guys, I'll try to clean up this video, make it a little brighter. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, typical Monday. Always falling short of time. I'm going to upload new pictures for a new listing, bring that thing live, and then uh, this evening, so you guys will see that video come across probably Friday, depending on how quickly my uh, text for info writer people can put that video together. And yeah, I'm working on a new logo, so hopefully you'll start seeing that come across too. Fiverr, if you need help with logos, use Fiverr uh, for logo videos, intros, and things like that. Great company. Alright guys, thanks for everything, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.